I don't think our needs or our struggles are probably that much different from someone in a more suburban or urban area, but our access to help or our access to relief is probably harder to find. talking about those smaller needs we meet them but it's ex at the expense of our own own families and possibly mm -hmm. our own needs you can only spread a small school's budget so far and if I start asking for like a ripped carpet to be replaced that's going to be at the expense of can we replace our math books this year how can we teach a child what they need to learn academically if they're sitting there hungry or they've been somebody said something and won't step by you because they don't smell good. We're still going and I think the community is going to stand behind that school because if you lose your school you lose your community. I think we've lost so many students um, just because we couldn't get them the help that they needed. A young lady who was valedictorian and succumbed to drugs I remember taking her to the emergency room because she was ready to get help. I remember getting her into rehab and um, she called me and wanted me to come get her and I wouldn't come get her because I knew that wasn't the right decision for her. And um, she got somebody else to check herself out and we lost her. We are just to be faithful to the ministry that God has placed us in. Whether it is serving a church as, I, as we do here or whether it is just serving an individual that we need to be faithful. When you talk about the, the church is helping, I came in, the, I think, the first year that the school supplies was bought for the entire... It's incredible. And that was incredible. And what I noticed that some of your middle-income families that you wouldn't think about struggling to buy school supplies, but the amount of money that it takes for one child times three or four. Some of the parents that walked in that didn't realize it was happening, they were just, you could tell how grateful they were, and oh, this will help so much. People in the rural communities help each other without even being asked. Sure, there's, there's times of change, and we've got different problems, and, but we still have good neighbors that helps each other, and, and if they find out that uh, you're sick or if you're needing something, you know, they, they, they help each other. And uh, that's why I like small towns. You can share Jesus all you want to, but you've also got to share yourself. And I think that's probably the biggest lesson that I have learned. You realize that all this that you're doing is making a difference. That new clothes builds self-esteem. New clothes builds the ability for children to not feel ashamed of who they are. New clothes enables them to learn because they're not questioning of who they are anymore. I think there are a lot of people in this community that care about each other and that have been here a long time and want to stay here and care about what happens to the people from here. Great things come from this place.